Hello YouTubers and thank you for tuning in to the Dice Flat Toy View. Once again, it's going to be another Penguin Cop World Toy View. Hooray! Yahoo! Should have done that a little bit more earlier than that one, eh? But anyways, we're going to be taking a look at this product here. It's called the Flip Up Origami Penguin Cop World. Shuriken Booing Ninja Penguins Quattro 12 pack. And it costs about 12 pounds. The back of the packaging looks like that. Whoosh! Ting! Swoosh! Of course, yes, it looks quite a great sort of um, toy. It's got that very cool warning. It says, Warning, do not throw at other people or real animals as it causes hurtful agony or pain. And yes, part of the Penguin Club World Toy range. As always, as per usual. Anyways, I need to grab the webcam, like so, as I'm making this video, eh? And yes, at the time of making this video, I've actually decided to play with Trackmaster Luke instead of the Tony. Pyro E253 uh, train because I want the C sub to last for quite a while, eh? And, um, there's the freaking putter again, eh? And, um, actually, I did this putter again, eh? Well, actually, um, if I remember, if you remember back in the uh, other video with the, um, the Sensei with the three Ninja Penguin, it was quite amazing. Oh boy, eh? <laughs> you know, the video with the garage and Sensei you know, Penguin, and the three Ninja Penguin. That was quite amazing, wasn't it, eh? But you know what? It's quite nice, eh, having four penguins, even though in Chinese culture, it's basically a bit of an unlucky number, because you know what it means in Chinese culture? Four means death. As I can really remember, eh? Si. Sí. I'm pretty sure si is pretty much the Chinese word for number four. S-I. Almost sounds like the word sir, but in... I think you know what I mean in my Chinese sort of language, eh? And the other thing I was also inter interrupting was um, this screwdriver here. And yet again, I was just getting myself prepared for Trackmaster Luke to get the battery in. And, and in fact, it was the same battery used for the air refreshener, I think. But yet again, those batteries from those freaking air refresheners don't always last for a fairly long time, even though I easily admit them. <laughs> um, well, you know what? They don't actually last for a long time, eh? And the other troublesome part, that when I was making this video, Luke kept on jumping off the rails from those points here as well, though. Those tiny parallel points going through that um, chicane right over there. It's like a slingshot sort of layout, though. Going towards that section there and the mass is taking a bit of a dive as strange as it sounds but I'm just going to continue like so and yes Luke traverses from that chicane here to that chicane there so it's a little bit like that you know the layout is in a bit of a dog bone section here where the train sort of boomerangs into one section and another so yes um, going back to the um, Penguin Club World Tour here without having Trackmaster Luke to file and derail as I'm making this video, eh? And yes, uh, just notice the mouse is taken down. That wasn't very nice, so I'm going to bring that mouse up like so. Wooshka! And it's pretty much up. But you know what? I definitely say that the wires in that sort of position or in that sort of view doesn't sound too healthy. But anyways, let's just go ahead and contend with the toy view. Uh, looks like the sun is getting a little bit um, calm now because on a hot summer's day it can be unbearably hot. But you know what? As we're heading to, well, you know what, towards autumn time, um, yes, we're pretty much getting into a much more cosy and comfortable sort of condition, I suppose. Eh? Even though I could pretty much state that going towards autumn time would pretty much be the state of when winter is about to come. And yes, seasonal anxiety disorder is on the way, unfortunately, but nevertheless, I definitely say it's a no-no for me. Okay, so we've got the shurikens, which look like something out of Leggy Ninjago. Ninjago! Hooray! I can just pretty much throw these shurikens, you know, randomly, I, I suppose. You know, just throw them as I'm like, you know what, I can also do another thing. I can even have it's rainy shurikens 
Hallelujah! It's raining shotguns! Whoa, yes! That's quite amazing indeed. Anyways, apart from being too cheesy, once again, those shurikens are pretty much made up with two pieces of paper, so you have to attach these two like so, and you know what? It's already done. Okay, let's take a look at the ninjas. Okay, so let's start off with this blue one here. This blue penguin from Club Penguin. And actually, you notice his eyes have actually gone a bit wonky, which in a sense, if you look closely, his eye isn't really that normal. Maybe he's suffering from some sort of very weird condition. Maybe it's something that I really want to pretty much use this mistake as, as some sort of progression. There you go, there's the belt here, on the bottom here. Pretty much it's done in a very nicely um, meticulous sort of way, I believe. And hopefully not sloppy. And um, there's the bandanas, like that. You can tell it's a ninja penguin, or a dojo training penguin. Pretty much warmed up for Sensei's um, dojo, I suppose. Nearly said Sensei Woo back then. <laughs> Because if I did mention about Sensei Wu, it could probably lead to Logan Ninjago. And Lego would pretty much sue me. Please, Lego, don't sue me for this. I don't know why, but I just feel like that. You know, it looks quite nice, that toy. It's quite spectacular in a way. But yet again, I just think, um, you know, the name Sensei Wu has already been taken already, though, eh? So anyways, there's that blue penguin looking all quite funny, eh? With those eyes, those weird-looking, wonky-looking eyes. And we've also got this red penguin here, which looks like he's got a bit of a bent beak of some sort. It's a little bit um, off though, the, the beak in a sense though, and I had to pretty much uh, cover these bits there because there was yellow inhibiting now on that penguin there. So that was the reason why it looked a little bit more different compared to what I would normally do with my penguins which normally look a bit more like this without any detailing like that on the front but this one has in the sense that, you know what um, the red pretty much symbolizes to me that there was loads and loads of sloppiness and even on this bit there on the tip of the beak there as well just before um, that section there it was actually at this section here at the bottom can you see that little red speck? it looks like blood you know what? Uh, it's more of a scarlet coloured penguin. Now, if I show you carefully, it looks more scarlet than red, actually, though. It's like a mixture between orange and red, if you ask me, I suppose. It's got the black belt, like all the other ninja penguins have got, which looks totally awesome. And you've also got the green ninja penguin! Hooray! Hopefully this penguin once again is not something I can relate to um, Lord Garmadon, or should I say Lloyd Garmadon? <laughs> Where does that one, eh? Um, once again, it's got a nice looking, um, what do you say, belt of course, another nice black belt like so. There's the bandanas again. You can even pretty much pose those bandanas in a very fancy way, eh? Looks brilliant indeed. It's got a bit of a very different mouth detailing like so. Actually, if I look at these two, um, the mouth detailing is a bit more different. One is where the mouth actually meets up from the tip of the beak towards that end of the beak. Whereas this one here, it actually starts from this section here, instead of that, to there. In a sense, which is quite unusually a bit different, eh? Uh, yet again, it is something quite nice to look at, eh? Those very, 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 you know what? These differences are very variable. That's what I was trying to say, eh? And uh, yes, they are pretty much highly detailed, even though some of them look quite a bit sloppy. Is that brown penguin that I've made? Okay, so you know what? it actually looks quite nice, I would say. Yeah, it looks beautiful indeed. Great designs, great stuff. And we've also got this yellow penguin here, which is pretty much in a different shade of yellow. But what's also quite amazingly surprising is that it's a female. So if you look at the top of her forehead here that's where the eyelashes are meant to be even though uh, she does a little, little bit look a bit like um like a masculine sort of character eh? but yet again she's female although there's no lips on her beak she makes it totally tomboy-ish if you ask me eh? and she looks beautiful indeed there you go there's the um judo or wrestling sort of belt or ninja belt, as you're going to call it, eh? It's the black belt, as I'm referring to, eh? 
And because there's eight shurikens, you can actually fit your penguins with those shurikens like so as weapons, as like some sort of decorative appendage of some sort. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. You can even use them as symbols. Or you can even use them as like cheerleader pom-poms. Oh yes, look at that, it's quite weird, eh? It's pretty weird indeed, eh? But that's what a ninja penguin should be! Hooray, look at that! Uh, it looks quite cool, eh? I love it! I love it! It looks like something has a Lego minifigure's item! Oh no! <laughs> it's just toppled over. Which, in a sense, wasn't that very, very healthy of all, eh? <laughs> that would have been dangerous. Yet again, in fact, uh, the way you attach the shurikens to your penguin is I think you can slot through like so, eh? We'll slide the arm. Ooh, it looks like the penguin's showing its bum, eh? That's a bit nasty and naughty, a bit gnarly as well, eh? But you know what? That's just me trying to fit in those penguins with those shurikens like so. I think the only problem is, is that you have to tape those out to see, you know, to make them pretend that if they were throwing like shurikens up in the air. Looks. Oh! <laughs> Oh, I think the penguin just went straight through the camera though, but um, hopefully he didn't go through the footage as I'm making this video, eh? Well, you know what? There's the red one, like so, if I should show you carefully like that. And if I go for that one, eh? Look at that. It looks totally amazing. Oh, wow, eh? This is like how Lego does their minifigures, and it looks so, so well. And it's so well made. And... I can tell you what though, it looks totally awesome though, even though this one's a bit troublesome to fit in there, eh, with those weird arms, and that's what penguins tend to have. And strangely enough, those shurikens look like it's helping the penguins to sort of balance though, that's quite weird. Because, you know, penguins are supposed to be very clumsy looking birds when they're walking through the ice and lands and even the beachy shores of granite and whatever like you know you know I've, I, I've actually seen uh, a documentary of penguins going through you know various trials of muddy forests in New Zealand like you know the Snares Island uh, but anyways those are the ninja penguins oh no look at that now that's something you don't see every day again don't you some ninja penguins with a couple of shurikens look at that this is actually something really, really amazing. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Stand. Oh, no. You lost your shuriken, eh? Oh, my goodness me. You know what? I'm going to definitely throw and target at those ninja penguins. In fact, let me see. Three, two, one, and fire. Oh, that's nasty. How about the other one? Oh, we missed it. And I think we've just pretty much made it straight underneath a bit. And there's a freaking wooden stick. Uh, I didn't expect that one to happen, eh? A freaking wooden stick, like so. Uh, let me try and do it again. Oh, yes, nice one. In fact, I really can't stop playing with this. It actually looks quite amazing. Sorry, penguins, see me. Um, pretty much, um, <laughs> um, you know what I'm gonna say, essentially. I just think that it's just too cruel just watching penguins being assaulted by shurikens. And you know what? That's something that we all tend to hate in love. Obviously, whenever you see penguins <laughs> pretty much getting hurt, that's not pretty much the right thing to see. And you know what? That's pretty much cruel. And I think there'll be lots of people saying, Ivan, stop hurting the penguins. But they're just models. Okay? So, I mean, what's the point of pretty much complaining about me you know, playing with model penguins, pretending that they're getting hurt by raining shurikens. I mean, is this considered fair play? Or am I just, you know, just pretty much making up to the point that, you know, that the YouTube algorithm doesn't understand and what I'm trying to do? Or is it the fact, or is it, you know, the case of just me playing these toys uh, in a very gentle way as I'm pretending that these guys are having a bit of a rough time? While the shurikens falling down from the sky! Oh! Oh, it looks like the red one survived. I think that's a very vital game for that one, eh? 
a bit of punishment. And actually, um, one of the shurikens landed on the penguin's arm, which was quite amazing indeed. In fact, it's a little bit like, you know, playing a bit of Ludo, I suppose, eh? A bit of Ludo with that, uh, some colours like that one, eh? Very cool board game. And, you know what? I think I've just missed... Oh my goodness me, I could pretty much play this whole game all day long. Pretty much... Oh, it's broken already! Well, I think that's about the one I to pretty much finish off this video, eh? Um, sorry if I played the shurikens a bit too roughly, eh? Because I think, um... Yeah, the shurikens, they're not always that great. I might have to pretty much, um... Fix them with super glue, eh? Because, well... Oh, look at that! It's back on already, eh? Actually, I want to have another go. Play more raining shurikens! Hallelujah! It's raining shurikens! Oh my goodness me! This video is going to have a great time! Indeed! Whoa! <laughs> well, just only the blue penguins survived. Here we go! Oh wow, looks like the ninja penguins aren't even keeping their own distance today. Imagining if it was pretty modern times like this. You know what? I'm going to be doing some more raining shurikens if I can take my time like this. Oh yes, one penguin down! Two penguins down! Oh yes, uh, this one looks like it's surviving. Um, it doesn't seem too helpful, eh? And, <laughs> well, that's pretty much what I could pretty much do, eh? Um, this shuriken here doesn't look like it's pretty much in a very healthy state there. So, um, I really don't know. Maybe I need to repaint those um, shurikens fully in yellow, and that will be a very much nicer thing as I can do. Actually, I want to do another go, eh? Because I actually can't stop playing with this toy so, so, uh, how would you say it? Roughly, eh? But in a very fair way. <laughs> Obviously. I'm going to pretty much do it again. Let's see which penguin survives. Oh! That one took a bit of... Some, oh, it's got back already, eh? Uh, <laughs> I can't tell which penguin survived. Actually, um, the blue one survived. Strange, I'm pretty much playing this game and I want all penguins down for the sake of being a bit cruel, but in a very, very fictional way. Here we go, rain bomb of shurikens! Oh, <laughs> Okay, that was cheating, but yeah, anyways, you get the gist. But anyways, I think that's about it in this video, eh? Uh, I'm off to pretty much um, repaint that shuriken again there and make it more fully yellow again. So if you really enjoyed in this pretty um, strange sequel of Penguins and Ninjas, or should I say Ninja Penguins together, eh? Uh, together, I suppose. Eh? It's a little bit like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles as I'm viewing on this um, set again, which is quite weird, eh? And if you really enjoyed this very, very strange video of Penguins doing martial arts and penguins training to become a ninja. Please give this video a good like as the autumn sunset is about to happen. Subscribe for more about toy reviews in the future, especially penguins. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll end the video. And goodbye for now. Bye.